Brother Emmanuel from Kenya, he cannot raise or use this left hand. He got a fracture of the clavicle bone. Healing is going on for him. The Lord Jesus Christ taking away all his pain. You see how he's starting to flex the hands, raising the hands. Just been supporting this arm in this special gadget. Now, watch, brethren. See what Jesus has done. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory be to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory and honor back to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Clap, clap. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can imagine the pain and discomfort that Brother Emmanuel Odiambo from Kenya was going through following a fractured clavicle for which he had to have the hand in such a supportive gadget in a painful condition like this. But by the prayer made in faith by Prophet Samuel Kakande, all pain became history. Listen to his wonderful testimony to God's glory. My name is Emmanuel Odiambo Edewa. The woman beside me is my wife, Winnie Nafula Afande. We are from Kenya. I'm here to celebrate my testimonies with you. People of God, I want to thank the Lord of Prophet Samuel Kakande. Before I came here, I had a problem with my left shoulder which had given me a lot of problems. The problem started nine years ago when we were at training school. That is Kenya Military Training School. I was hit on the left shoulder by my fellow colleague with a training tool of which after it happened, I used to feel pain, but I never went to hospital. I knew it it was normal. I used used painkillers, but it never assisted me. Uh, We we finished training. I went to the unit later on, like three years ago. That's when I went to the hospital. After the x-ray, the doctors diagnosed me with a fractured clavicle where they suggested that I could go for surgery. The surgery didn't happen on the spot. It took like more than two years. That is, it happened just last month. That is five weeks ago where I underwent the surgery, at the end of the day, there was no improvement. So the doctor suggested for me to use this orthopedic tool, which I've been using for five weeks now, but all in all, all was in vain, because I still used to feel a lot of pain. This is an X-ray after the surgery. These are the medical reports to show where I went to Defense Forces Moy Airbus Hospital. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from Kenya Defense Forces Moy Airbus. It's a patient referral and management form for Private Edewa Emmanuel. This is where he went, as is being indicated here. He went with severe pain in the left shoulder joint, which started more than six years ago after trauma that he incurred while undergoing training. And the pain initially was mild, but later on worsened. So here they went ahead to examine him through an X-ray that was done that showed that he suffered a chromioclavicular joint dislocation as well as distoclavicular fracture with lateral third osteoporosis. This was confirmed and signed by the surgeon on behalf of Captain Dr. Ocheng. And here we have another medical report from Defense Forces Memorial Hospital in Nairobi, Kenya. It's a discharge summary for Private Edewa Emmanuel Odiambo. Here he was attended to by Colonel Dr. Owere, Colonel Dr. Munyoko, and Colonel Dr. Mbuva. 
as is indicated here, he was being followed up following this acromioclavicular ligament tear with left clavicular fracture after being involved in an injury while carrying out his training. And unfortunately, a colleague dropped his post, causing injury to his shoulder. He then started experiencing this pain. So here, the doctors went ahead to examine him and they went ahead to treat him. He was admitted and they took him through a surgical procedure which they named with a drum procedure, which was successfully done and he was given some medicine upon discharge and this was confirmed and prepared by Dr. Brigitte. But still he continued to feel so much pain. And as we are seeing in this X-ray image, it's an X-ray image for Private Emmanuel Edewa. You can clearly see up here what the doctors did in management of his condition because he suffered a dislocation as well as fracture in this area of his shoulder. I've been feeling a lot of pain. Just three years ago, my wife had introduced me to Professor Samuel Kakande Ministry from YouTube, where we have been watching, watching. I see people getting healed. Sometimes I doubt, but later on, after a while, just on last week, we decided to come and get our deliverance and healing. But before that, I was unable to do many things. Even at the workplace, it was difficult for me. I couldn't be put on duty. I couldn't do anything. You couldn't work properly. You couldn't even, I couldn't even help my wife to do anything. You are just to sit there, wait for food, you eat, you sleep, but while sleeping, you only sleep on one side. You can't change yourself. You can't, do, put, you can't put on clothes. I was supposed to be helped with either my wife or your male like that. My wife can talk a bit. Oh. Praise God, church. My name is Arwini Nafula. Besides me, it's my husband. We are from Kenya. What my husband has just said, it's true. It was a difficult situation for us because after that operation, he could not do anything at all. When we are in the house, we have to take a stool, then put it on the chair for him to support his hand. It was too difficult. I was like having three kids in the house because for him to put on cloth, I was supposed to help him or to, to remove that cloth, I was supposed to help him. It was too difficult. It's, that's when we decided to come here at the Kakande Ministry to get help. On Saturday, we came here and I was of privilege to be put on prayer line. I can't explain actually what happened, but the only thing I know and I knew at that time, when man of God came close to me, started praying for me, the only thing I found myself moving my shoulders, my hand, of which prior to that I was unable. I was unable. That, that is when I realized I was healed and I thank God. I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande. I thank the Lord of this ministry that may Prophet Kakande continue to live longer so that he can continue serving us. I want to praise glory and honor back to Jesus. Before that, I was unable even to sit down alone. I couldn't do anything. But right now, I want to tell you, people of God, I can do a lot of things. I can even raise my hand. I can shake my shoulder. I can walk properly. I can even wave my hand, of which initially it was so difficult. I can, I can lift. I can, I can lift. I can lift luggages and to walk majestically. Of which initially it was so difficult. Glory and honor back to Jesus. I can sit down and wake up without support. I can raise my hand. 
I can I can wave, of which initially I called him do. May the Lord of Prophet Samuel Kakande be praised, glory and honor back to Jesus. Amen. Amen. We thank God for what he has done in my husband's life. Because when we were coming from Nairobi, it was too difficult for us, especially for me. Because I was to carry my twins alone. Just imagine carrying twins from all the way to Nairobi to here to Kampala. It was too difficult. I have to beg for people in the car just to help me to carry one child for me to help my husband to carry the other child. I really praise God for what he has done for us. <laughs> Glory and honor back to Jesus. <laughs> Brethren, I want to tell you there is life here in Prophet Samuel Kakande's church. There is life here. If you want life, if you want your problem to be over, if you want to solve anything about your house, your marriage, your business, sickness in your family, just come here at Prophet Samuel Kakande's church. You are free. You have seen. There's no, no need to pay for anything. I hope you have seen. No one has been charged for any, anything. For me, it was just everything was free, and my husband here has been healed. We really praise God. Thank you, church. Since that Saturday, in fact, he, he's the one carried the children from here to where we, have, we are going to sleep. I'm really so happy. People, people were just seeing him. When we, we go where we, we took the, the room, people were wondering. Even th in that hostel, people saw him by the time when we enter. When we came back after prayers, they were shocked. They said, in fact, they just said, these people are from Prophet Samuel Kakante's church, which is true, where he got the healing. I really thank God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I know we are blessed. We don't regret for anything. We don't regret for coming here. Church, we are so happy, and we know we are blessed. Thank you. We don't need this. Maybe we just need it because we are taking it back to the Air Force for them to take it. Maybe they can give so to someone else who don't know the prophet, Samuel Kakante's church. But for us, we don't need it at all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing my husband. Re-inspect the God you are talking about. He deserves the best. Let's just take an example of a brother of the hand, which arm um, came like this. My name is Emmanuel Odiambo Edeva from Kenya. How long have you been with that problem? Nine years. For nine years, the hand is like this. He cannot walk. He cannot sleep properly. Look at this suffering. By his stripes, we are healed. His body, Jesus, became our body. Sir, now you are going back to your job. I know you will now become a celebrity there. Amen. After the short course, they are going to promote you. Three times they left you outside with no promotion. Now I give you the hanky. Thank you, Jesus. Come. You go for your promotion. Ay, 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 ay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now you come back here. God bless your life. Thank you. Office, give me $1,000 for him. I want to confirm the prophecy from man of God. I've failed to be promoted thrice. Now you're going for your promotion. Thank you, Lord. After a short course, 
everything is. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande.